Good evening, cadets, with Thanksgiving coming up soon. I would like to teach you all how to make an apple crisp. That way you can contribute to your family's dinner. For this recipe, you're gonna need a big mixing bowl, small mixing bowl, an eight inch by eight inch baking pan, a knife with a cutting board, six apples. I would recommend having a mixture of sweet and tart. I only have sweet. You're gonna need some sugar, some ground cinnamon, some lime or lemon juice, some brown sugar, some oats, stick of butter and flour. If you have a unsalted butter, you're gonna need a little bit of salt too, just a pinch. The first part is really boring. We're gonna start by cutting up all these apples into bite-sized chunks or a little bit smaller. Uh, it, it depends on how, how big you want your apples. Usually mm, somewhere between a quarter of a bite size and an actual bite size should, should, should be fine. Um, if your family is particularly picky, you may want to peel the apples first my family, however, can suffer. They, they can eat the apple peels, I don't care. When I chop apples, I like to quarter them the, um, up, and then you can kind of just cut them along, for that, like make two diagonal cuts towards the, the middle. You can pop out the seeds. Yeah, this now, you can just chop that up a bit. You throw that in so you know turn on your favorite tv show or something and get slicing okay i've chopped up all of my apples that took quite some time now i'm gonna add two tablespoons of sugar i'm going to add oh I spilt it all i'm going to add one and three fourths teaspoons of ground cinnamon and one and a half teaspoons of lemon slash lime juice. Now I'm just gonna mix these up. Okay, my a apples and have all been mixed together. So now we're gonna move on to, to the nice crumbly topping. You're gonna want a stick of cold butter. Don't don't throw it in the microwave. Don't do do that. You want it nice and hard. You're gonna want three fourths cup of oats, three fourths cup of flour, a cup of brown sh sugar, and a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And you're gonna put your hands in there, or if you want, you could use a fork. I just, I just re rewashed my hands, so, so my hands are fine. If you want to, you can use a fork. You're just, just gonna mash it all up. You're gonna want to get it to a point where it's nice and crumbly, or like, kind like a crumbly paste. And then, you, and then that's gonna, gonna be your topping. So I'm gonna get to mixing this thing up, and then I'll, I'll, I'll be, I'll be right back. Okay, I have mashed this all into, into a nice crumbly paste. Um, one thing that you, that you may want to, to, to try that I did that worked wonders was I kind of like flattened it out against the bottom of the pan and then smushed it all and then crumbled it up and I did that again and then again. So, so now I'm just lubricating my, I, my pan. It'd probably be a lot easier to just spray like Pam or something on it, but I don't have that luxury at the moment. So I am attempting to smear vegetable sh shortening all over the, the, the pan with a rubber spatula working surprisingly well. My oven is preheated to 350. That's wonderful news. Okay, we're gonna pour in the apples. Also, you may not notice that I did switch to a larger pan to tell no one, but this is an 11 and a half by eight inch pan. I made a judgment call that the other one was, was in fact too small. My apples are in, sprinkling on the, the crumbly bits. Just gonna spread that around to have a nice, even coating. Okay, that looks pretty good. This bad boy is gonna go in the oven for 40 minutes. I'm gonna take it out, check it. If the crust is golden, it'll come out. You're gonna have an apple crisp. 
Good evening, cadets. We have April Crisp here. It's all done. Nice and crunchy. Cut that out. out. No, that's saying it now. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> We, we, I made a, a apple crisp. It's all done. Take a bite, Paul. Cheers. Cheers. What are we doing? So, what do you think? Aside from the fact that it's on top of every uh, taste bud on my tongue, it tastes really good. So give us some time to get a cool, but yeah, this is a apple crisp. You know, ask your, your cadets, ask your parents if you can make this for, for, for Thanksgiving to dessert. Especially if you're never useful in the, in the kitchen, it'll be nice to, you know, give your parents a break. Have a wonderful night, cadets. Cadet Second Lieutenant Perry out. <laughs>